<laughs> but right now, let's bring our next guest on, Darren Stewart, founder and CEO of 8020 Connect, Inc., 8020connect.com. Darren, how are you, and welcome to the show. I'm fabulous, and uh, thank you for the opportunity. I'm a, I'm a big fan, so I'm excited to be on. Oh, thank you so much. Listen, you spent most of your early career uh, building and developing organizations. Tell me a little bit about, uh, about your early career and, and how it got us to here. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I have to admit, I'm a terrible employee. Uh, my first uh, job right out of the university I, I started an investor relations firm back in uh, 1999. Uh, I went from there to working at a strategic bank, uh, stayed in the investment industry, obviously, and then went to actually being an investment advisor until, uh, unfortunately, until 9-11, I left the industry. Wow. Okay. So um, when did you start 8020? I came up with the concept after we sold, uh, I sold a previous technology company that Focused on moving capital from an individual's, uh, in, sorry, an individual's bank account to their investor account in the U.S. Actually, um, through like a PayPal type methodology, mm-hmm. and uh, we sold that off back in 2007. And in 2012, I decided that the market needed something more than a transfer system. That we needed to engage a new audience of investors, and we needed to do it in a regulatory way. And we needed to include all industry participants and create sort of an ecosystem. So back in 2012, I came up with the first business plan and uh, spent the first few years working with regulators and uh, securities commissions to sort of develop the prototype. And we launched commercially our first commercial beta application last August. Well, that's exciting. Very exciting. Mm-hmm. Tell me, can you real quick in 30 seconds, how did, what is 8020? How did you, what's 8020 Connect? What's the meaning of that? The, uh, so 8020 Connect, really, we just we built a compliant and social interactive investment community. And, you know, what, what really makes it powerful is, is that um, we have allowed individuals to share the wisdom of the crowd or the group, but still make their own in, uh, individual investment op- decisions. And by linking them into this group, we create the social conformity or peer review of the investment process, especially in these small to mid-cap corporations which really changes the game when it comes to developing and building a shareholder okay. confidence. I want you to hold on to that because we're going to come back and, and get into oh. more of that right after this break, if that's okay. Darren Stewart, founder and CEO, 8020 Connect. We'll be right back and talk more. Okay, welcome back to CEO Money. I'm here with Darren Stewart founder and CEO of 8020 Connect, and he's he's just telling us about uh, 8020 Connect and kind of what they're doing. Um, Darren, welcome back to the show. Let me ask you a quick question. So where are and where, um, uh, how should companies communicate to investors and shareholders kind of in the new media environment? I think they need to get away from the sort of shotgun, high-pressure sales approach. I think people have become desensitized to it. I think they need to be seen as thought leaders. They need to create a community of advocates, and they really need to focus on collecting those individuals that are like-minded into an area that they can build that long-term investor relationship with. So who is the 8020 Connect customer? Uh, who are primarily you our customer. Sorry. sorry. Our customers are the uh, micro cap and small cap markets in Canada. Uh, we are looking at moving to the U.S. in, in 2018 in the year. But right now, we are pretty much focused on that market that's been abandoned by the investment community here in Canada. So how does 8020 help, uh, you know, uh, with a company? What would you, when you come in, uh, kind of what is your strategy in dealing with them? Well, companies uh, haven't taken advantage of one of their most important aspects that they own, and that is the shareholder. So our goal with any corporation, um, and generally they're, they're, they're struggling to find new investors, is to sit down and really have them focus on their current shareholder group and build advocates out of them so that those people are, are well-informed and out finding like-minded investors to join their groups. 
And so what we start off with is our goal is to get them to 100 plus investors in their investor groups and have them actively educating and communicating with those investors. At that point, 8020 will go out and help them market and find new investors that would fit their particular sort of social brand, if you will. I mean, that's so smart. And the thing is, it's so logical. You already have this base. <laughs> They've already bought into the, in, into the story. So why not go back to them? Because they're going to be your best salesman out there. Is that right? Uh, that's exactly the methodology. And, and it is funny. Like you said, it's common sense. But, you know, the world sometimes lacks common sense. Um, and, and, but what we have to do is make it accessible to investors anytime, anywhere, on any device, uh, when they want it, and they, you want it to be, um, you want to be able to share your information so that the group or the crowd, if you will, the wisdom of the crowd, can sort of consume that information and make their decisions on that. So, you know, the advent of social media has really changed the way we buy music or watch movies or take taxi cabs with Uber. So, uh, the investment industry needs to make this step forward for the investor, but not necessarily for themselves, but for the consumer that they're trying to get after. So is it more the, the, you use the technology to connect with your, your current base as well as your strategy to go, to go get new clients or new investors? Absolutely. So uh, I usually explain it to clients this way. When you go to Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn, whatever social channel, when you look at an individual, if he has, you know, two followers versus an individual that has 500 followers, which one are you going to join? The two, of course. You're gonna, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you're going to join the one that has more activity, more people. There's more interest. Uh, you know, when you have a big audience, it sort of tells people that you're the thought leader in the industry. And so we tell our clients, again, you come with an audience. You have to leverage that audience. But in order to leverage that audience, they better be happy because they're the ones selling your stock. And there's nobody out there shorting, you know, junior microcap companies because the risk is too high. It's just people have lost interest with their investments and have sold their shares for whatever the reason may be. Okay, I've given you this platform. You can get up on your soapbox. What are you going to tell our listeners other companies that need your help. Give me your words of wisdom. Sure. If you're going to change the investment industry and you want to change the way people view your uh, business, you need to change your language. Investors want to be part of a social um, community. They're looking for protection. They want to know that what is being said, what they're hearing is from the horse's mouth, from the corporation, and that the corporation Uh, They say what they mean and they own it. Uh, As far as corporations are concerned, um, if you're not addressing your investors or shareholders like owners of your company, you will lose them and you will continue to see your market collapse and your market values collapse with it. And then, two, as you're getting that word out, and we've seen it in social media, you have to be so careful of who is actually spreading that word because in a public (laughs) company, you can really do some damage, you know, with with all the outlets of social media if you don't have a handle on that? And, and do you guys help with that, you know, in, in that messaging? You are on top of this. I'm very impressed. You're correct. The one thing that we advocate with uh, the Securities Commissions and the Exchange is that 8020 becomes a statement of record for your corporation. What I mean by that is any investor, as long as you're on our site and you represent your corporation on our site, because the groups and the corporations, uh, they have to be owned and represented by the management of the company. So whatever is said in here is what we will share, or what is said in here, the investor can be assured that that information is true and correct because that corporation has put their name on it. And so when we, you know, people can say things, retweet, repost, uh, post, post things on other uh, you know, uh, bull, uh, invest, uh, investor boards, I'll call them, uh, that are incorrect. And the challenge the regulators have with that is that how do investors know that that's real or not real information? And so what we're trying to establish is that if the company's on here, this is their statement of record. This is what the shareholders can depend on as true and real information and transparent information. Man, Darren, that makes complete sense. It's a smart business model. Uh, um, we're going to be watching you grow, and I want you back on the show soon. You've been listening to I'm, Darren Stewart, founder and CEO of 8020 Connect, Inc., 8020connect.com. 
I really appreciate you being on the show. I really appreciate being on the show. Thank you so much. Okay.